Is that a factory grade as well? I swear I just saw a factory grade shovel. Um, no, 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 here. It is! It's a factory grade shovel as well! Oh my god! Oh my god, that's amazing! Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Modded with Fennec Mod 1.1. We are now on episode 31. So, guys, in the last episode, we cleared out this entire tower. Um, we just pretty much ran through it, blitzed all the zombies, cleared everything out, and now we are back. Now, I've gone ahead and set up down here. We have, like, some boxes, and I pretty much, like, organized all my loots and stuff. Uh, there's still some stuff in Gloria, which I'm actually going to uh, see if I can use as well, because I know I need to probably eat and drink. So let's go ahead and just uh, sort my uh, hunger, hydration, and all that good stuff out. Um, I'm going to actually eat... Um, let's see. Actually, let's eat the spicy hash as well. Let's go and do that, because that will get my uh, food up a little bit. There we go. We're at 100, and then I can probably drink um, one of these other things as well. Uh, yeah, let me drink some of this uh, soy milk as well. There we go. So you can drink that. But yeah, as you can see, I am uh, overheating, because I'm out in the desert area and you know it's, it's not the best thing in the world so we're gonna have to kind of just deal with it as best we can um, I'm also gonna take any any like raw material items out of here and we're gonna put this inside the boxes inside and that's literally just so that I can kind of and now get everything together and keep it all you know keep keep it all in one area right so that's that's kind of what I need to do here just gonna take these out and we're just gonna go ahead and quickly just chuckle these guys into their respective areas so like medical stuff can go in there uh, with pain pills then we've got like regular stuff in here so we've actually like ju just from the zombies we actually got quite a lot of good stuff so that's not bad but we're gonna go ahead and put everything that's kind of like raw materials and stuff just in here uh, jars, I guess, can go in the food one. There you go, so we got 22 jars, that's not bad. And uh, then we have tools is this one where I put the wrench. Guns and ammo is here. And we also have menums, the rounds. And then my last one is like my training box. So anything that's like tradable can go into there. Or like cl uh, class notes and stuff like that. So there we go, that is all done. So let's go ahead and actually start looting this place and see what we can find. Now there are still some sleepers it seems. So we're gonna have to uh, go and make sure we do kill any remaining ones. But hopefully we're not gonna find too many now. I think most of them, most of them have been cleared. So we're just gonna have to do our best and see what happens. Uh, so we're gonna have to scrap some of these. And let me see, let's go and grab this one. And let's see what's in here. So in the safe we have... Oh my god, there's like a hunting rifle with everything in here. Well, that's actually a really good safe. That's a really good safe. That is awesome. Okay, so we've got... Oh, tin foil. Nice to take that. We can make uh, we can make more bread with that. That is a good thing. And let's go over here and see what we got here. So nothing in that one. More nothing in that one. And we got a murky water in that one, which, to be honest, I'm just going to leave murky water. Um, hunting rifle we can scrap. I've looted these guys all around here already. And the bin had a jar. Okay, so while I'm, while I'm down here, though, I may as well go ahead and put... I may as well go ahead and put, like... Say if we get, like, guns and stuff, I may as well just put them away, like, right now. Just because, like, a lot of this stuff is not going to stack, right? So I may as well just, you know, finish this off. Then I can uh, I can scrap those guys. And tin foil can go in here. And so can cloth this. And then you can go in here. There we go. So we'll, we'll just pretty much do it as a... I think doing it as we go along is probably the best thing. Repair kits could probably go in there. And notes and money can go in there. How much money did I get? I got like three, five, six money just from the businessman. So that's that's not bad. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and make our way up to upper floors and we'll see what we can find. So let's go ahead and make our way up. And we shall start looting each of these rooms. So I think the uh, the third and the fourth floor are going to be what takes the longest. But um, actually, can I get Fast Eddie again? Um, I don't know if I can. Fast Eddie's at two, and I need oh, I need the Plunder Mastery one for, for Fast Eddie three. That's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm not really looking to I'm not really looking to get it if I don't need to, or if I if it's like ages to wait, then I'm not really looking to bother with it. Um, so there's still sleepers in here though. Seems these guys have definitely respawned, so we may need to be a little bit careful. Um, as we go, because I think, yeah, more sleepers have respawned. I don't know if it's because it was like, I don't know, maybe over like, a fifth day or something like that. I'm really not sure. But yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely hearing more sleepers now. Um, which is kind of worrying, because I did, I did literally go through the entire building and, you know, cleared it. So there shouldn't be more sleepers, but it seems that there are. So it's fine. I mean, if there are, then we'll just deal with them. There shouldn't be too many tough enemies around anymore. It's just the ones we have, you know, around here. So Because there, there were loads in here I killed. Um, are there more in here? No, there's no more in here. Okay, let's go ahead and look in here. So we got nothing in those. Uh, beer cooler. Nice, you got some more spirits. I'll take those. We have here nothing, and we have a murky water. Yeah, murky water. I'm just not gonna, but not gonna bother taking. Um, right. So we also have some purses. Let's see if there's anything in there. Oh, aloe cream. I take that. And we have nothing in there. And let's go this way. We have money. Very nice. And more money. Excellent. Okay. So I yeah, there's definitely another sleep around here somewhere. But where? Where is it? We back here? No. Okay, I, def I definitely hear more though. 
Okay, so we can scrap that and we can see what's here. So, uh, lead and coffee, I think we'll leave it. And then we've got the apple juice there. Very nice. So, yeah, we're getting a lot of food and drink from this place already. So, yeah, these buildings are actually really good to loot for that. So, quite a load of good stuff. Right, let's go ahead and head down here. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our way over here. I don't think there's anything to loot in that little bit there. Nah, nothing there. Right, let's go to the next one. There you go, so floor one and floor two all done. And now we have pretty much free reign over the next one. So let's go and have a look in here. Right, so there's a safe at the back. So we should open that first, just make sure there's no, uh, no sleepers sneaking around. That's fine, nothing in the bookcase. And the desk has, oh, what's that? A, a leg cast. Nice to say that. Um, so the leg cast, this is, uh, if you've got a broken or sprained leg, this will heal it in almost no time. Sponsored by Holy Balls Incorporated, not suitable for touchies, adult assembly required. Well, I think I know who that's based after. T. <laughs> uh, right, let's see what else we've got here. So we have more spirits, Mega Crush, very nice, more jars. So yeah, any extra jars you can get is always handy too. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get that one. There you go. Meant to get the tap the first time, but of course I missed. Um, okay, so cartons are for plastic, so we can scrap those. So yeah, I can scrap these now. I fixed the uh, I fixed the issue with the uh, with the scrapping, and it now uh, it now works, which is really good. So you be scrapped. Only in the corner. Any sneaky ones? Nope, no sneakies in the corner. And I think that is uh, I think that's it. All right, so nothing there. What do we have in here? We have leather boots. I can scrap them. Uh, okay, so we can scrap this. In the, cu in the cabinet, we have this and lead. Okay, scrap all that as well. Desks, we have... Okay, I'll have to... I'll take these both for now, because I think we need to... Yeah, some, some of these I can repair. Um, so I'll repair the ones I can as we go. And then I'll scrap them afterwards. Okay, so we can... Can't repair that one yet, so I'll just take it. And we'll kind of sort through this. As, as we go, we'll, we'll sort through it a bit. Right, that I can scrap as well. And uh, what do we have in here? So, can take those guys right now. We can uh, scrap that one. And then we should be able to repair the other one from it, which is good. Because the uh, the cloth kind of goes round, and we should be able to get some more points into uh, armor crafting this way. Anything else? Nope. Let's have a look in here. Aha! Another, another tank top. So, again, a load of clothing from here. Oh, what's this? This is a, uh, a concrete reinforcing 101. Um, this one uh, requires. What does this require? Toolsmithing quality 3. Uh, science quality six and construction quality six, but yeah, so science quality six. So that's something uh, that's something that we can't get to at the moment. Um, let me see. So we've got these guys. Okay, can I start um, repairing these now? Let's see. Uh, no, I can't yet because we need to wait for we need to wait for those other things to scrap. That's fine then. So we can just go ahead and move on. Okay. Well, I can scrap that though. I can scrap that though. Yeah, brass for some reason takes like absolutely ages to scrap. I don't know why brass does in particular because it's like it's just a metal like everything else, right? So. It's odd. There we go. Then I can scrap those, and then we can start repairing these as we go. There we go. There we go, and we can just scrap all those. There we go, because this will help our armor crafting skill just a bit. Uh, that one. Okay. That one. Okay. Here we go. <coughs> oh god, sorry guys. Oh, big sneeze there. Ah. Sometimes these uh. So I just get like a big sneeze and something. I think it's like, I don't think I get like hay fever or anything, but like, I notice that I sneeze a lot more. So maybe, maybe I do, but it's just like very light because I don't have like, you know, stingy eyes or anything like that. But I'm not, I'm honestly not sure. Okay, there we go. That's all good. Okay, what's in here? We have padlock and some paper. I will take both. Can scrap that. Oh, actually, lead I'll take as well. May as well just take the lead. It does usually fill up a spot, but we can take lead. Okay, in here we have, we can repair those, scrap those. And I can actually scrap this book as well because I don't I don't need concrete reinforce I don't need the concrete reinforcing 101 book, so that is fine. We can just go and get rid of those. Um, and then the rest of this is just note fragments. Excellent. So that actually gives me five. So in here we have a pistol. Let's go ahead and assemble that. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and just scrap it. There we go. So we'll make, we'll, 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 every pistol we get, we'll get the gra the rounds out of. I'm like, what? I'm stuttering like crazy. I was like, bleh, 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 bleh. Now, every pistol we get, we'll get the rounds out of. Uh, I don't know if I got the plumbing one yet, so I will keep that one. I'm not sure on that. Uh, anything else? Don't think so. No, I, th I think we're good here. Yeah, that's alright. So we'll keep that one. Um, actually, let's make a let's make a first aid bandage as well, because we did get some alley cream. So let's go and do. One of those, there you go. One first aid bandage coming right up, and then we can go in here. So there's desks here, so we have a the fox guide to oven repair. I think we have that one. I think we have the oven repair one. I'll keep them anyway, just in case. Um, repair that, scrap that one, and then we can take this one, assemble that, and then scrap that one. 
Let's grab the pair of those. Excellent. Uh, what do we have here? First aid kit. I know it. Okay, these guys I know, but I'll take them anyway. Uh, this one I will have to scrap in a minute because something else is in the way. It's probably the um, probably the uh, yeah the le leather uh, leather strips actually take a while. Let's have a look in here. So brass that would be scrapped in a minute. Anything else in here I want to grab? Ah, here we go. You have this and this one. Okay, there we go. So then we can do that one, scrap that one, and scrap that one. There you go. Nice. Okay, so then we should get uh, six more note fragments out of that, which is excellent. And we can scrap that and stack it with the brass. All right. Slowly but surely, we're getting through all of this good stuff. So we have... Okay, in the safe here. Let's have a look in there. Hopefully we get some good stuff. What do we have? We have a shotgun short stock, which I'm just going to immediately scrap. And then I can repair that one. Um, so overalls is looking pretty good. And we have nothing much in there. All right. So we have three of these sinks, and we can go ahead and get... The brass forces on each of those. Excellent. There we go. So you can scrap them in a minute. That wrench is a crappy one, so I'm just going to get rid of it. And this one, nothing much in there anyway. So now those can be scrapped as well. Excellent. May as well search the toilets just in case there's anything in them. Could be a, you never know. Could be a toilet, could be a toilet again. We may, we may find a toilet pistol. All right. So this is the end section, isn't it? So we've pretty much made our way around. Um, I can't scrap the lead one yet, so. So I'll just take it then, and we have AV articles, which again I can't scrap. Damn, some of these items take ages to scrap. Like, re no, really, they do. They take a long time to scrap some of them. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and make our way up this side then, and then from here. So that's the that's the way down. So from here we can go ahead and okay, I'll take that then. So while we can't scrap stuff, I'm just gonna have to take it, and then we can scrap it later. Uh, oh, hello. Very good. Okay, now I can scrap that and steel arrows as well, which I might just want to scrap. Yeah, we'll, we'll scrap the steel arrows. We don't need those. Uh, nothing there. Okay. Nothing there. Okay, let's have a look at here. This one we have a, hel a helmet. A hel a hel a hel uh, uh, we have a helmet in there. Uh, so that's going to be 56 brass. That's not bad. Just takes so long to get it. Okay, yeah, I can't I, I can't even get into those yet. Uh, rounds? Oh, very nice. There's some rounds. Oh, okay, we can't carry the ball. Um, yeah, I really need to just let some of this stuff scrap because it's not... Um, it's not doing me that good, just having all this here. So yeah, I'll have to go ahead and have a look here. So that's sharp rusty metal, which I can't scrap yet. Um, I can stack that at least. Let's see, if, let's see if anything stacks here while I'm here. Uh, bullets and stuff, that will. Okay, there is... I think we have a problem here. Is that going to... Oh yeah, that will stack with the brass there. Okay, there we go. So now I should be able to at least clear out another slot there. There you go. So that'll take like 22 seconds to go. And then I can d get this guy, and I can assemble it. Get the rounds out of you, and then we can scrap it. There you go, because pistols, I mean, I know I'm the pistols class, but I don't really foresee myself using too much pistols now. It's more more like the SMG is what I'll use. So by scrapping pistols and getting the ammo from those, I can I guess I guess I just make sure that I get as much ammo as I possibly can, right? So we can get rid of those. Get rid of that one. And there we go. Now you have a few more slots clear. So yeah, just trying to scrap through some of this stuff is usually what takes um, takes up most of the inventory. There you go. So now I can take the rounds. And I can take this to scrap in a minute. And I can take this to scrap in a minute as well. There you go, that's better. So yeah, we just pretty much have to kind of manage our queue a bit. I'm tempted to actually make the queue longer, because it, it does seem too short when you're going around buildings trying to trying to loot things and scrap them and stuff. So I might make the queue shorter. Or a lot longer even, like so you have you can have more in. So yeah, I think actually we can scrap the pair of these. Um man, this leather stuff takes long to scrap as well. I'm going to have to see if I can uh, uh, decrease the scrap times, because some of these things take a long time to scrap, where well, they really shouldn't. Like brass, for example, that shouldn't take long to scrap, but it does. Okay, so we've got these. Uh, you can't scrap that yet. How long have I got left? One second on that. Okay, there we go. Now our is clear, so we can do repair, scrap, scrap, and scrap. There we go, and then we can scrap that. Nice! Okay, so we can take all those. Uh, nothing in there. In the final cabinet, we have these and a lead trophy, which can be scrapped as well. This one has something I can repair, and I can scrap those, and then I can... Yeah, you know what, I, I will scrap both of these. Just get both of these, because I'd rather have note fragments anyway. Because the note fragments, then, we can go ahead and use to get extra classes later. And we basically, like, start properly collecting them now. So then we have... Aviator goals and stuff, or nerdy glass, even. That's the funny, funniest looking pair of aviator goggles I ever did see, then. Okay, nothing in here. What's in here? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of on the lookout mainly for ammo and stuff. That's that's kind of my main thing that I'm looking for. Um, right, so let's go and organise that a bit. Okay, what is getting in the way now? Oh no, there we go. We're all good. Excellent, and then that one can go as well. There you go. So get rid of all those. 
And we are now level 71 in armor crafting, nice. So here we have a helmet. And we have two lead trophies there, which you can scrap a jar, I'll take that. Uh, right, repair that one. And scrap and scrap, there we go. So we got a brass trophy, so scrap queue is going to take a bit of a while. Okay, I'll have to keep that for a minute. And in here we have book casings, which I will turn into brass in just a second. And then finally we have the safe over here. Let's have a look in there. So hopefully there's some good stuff. We have ourselves a pistol book, which I can scrap. Yeah, all these can be, all these can literally be just, be just like, scrapped because we don't need them. Um, so brass, it's going to take 851. Okay, so not too long left. And I think once, now we got that done, probably a good time to head downstairs and just put all the stuff away that we got on this floor. Because this is this floor, I think, pretty much done. Yeah, because the next area is like the lift, and I can just make my way up like the stairs again. So yeah, I think we'll make our way down, because I did open this bit already, so let's go make our way all the way down. And we shall put the rest of these stuffs away. So this, scrap, scrap, scrap those, there we go. So I don't need, I don't really want compound bow parts anyway, so those can be scrapped. And then we'll go ahead and put everything away down here. And then we can go back up to the next floor and continue. Because yeah, now it's, now it's mainly cleared out, it's a lot easier just to, you know, go ahead and loot everything. So you guys can all go in here, and so can you guys, there we go. But yeah, I found a lot of food and drink as well up here. Um, so this pistol I can assemble, yeah, I can, I can probably scrap it now, there we go, so get rid of that as well. So one pistol can be scrapped there, and then ammo and stuff can go in there. There we go, so we've actually got a fair amount of uh, rounds here as well, so we've actually got, well, we've got 118 like mid-tier rounds, that's not bad. That's really not bad at all. And then food can go in there. And jars, and then iron, brass, wood, meds, and trading. There you go. So we've got we've already got 120, uh, 127 note fragments just from this place, which is really good. So yeah, I know I know a lot of you guys are saying you know a thousand note fragments is like really expensive for a new class, but you know just just loot buildings and you'll find loads. Like cracker books and stuff, they, it all adds up over time. All right, so we've done that floor now. That's completely. Completely and utterly sorted out, so we can go up here and do this one. Right, so we're gonna have to probably work our way in a, diff a bit of a different order in this one, just because we've uh, come up the stairs. But that's fine. So let's go and see. So, yep, scrap all three of those. Don't even need them. Scrap that one. We've got paper, and then we can scrap the pair of those as well. So yeah, see what I mean? You you just get note frames like everywhere. Like it's they're really easy to get. Right. Scrap you. That is a destroy station. Has some cornmeal on there. I like that. I'll take that. Okay, now we should start getting uh, a load of medical supplies, hopefully. We'll see what we get. Now, hopefully, we will get a load of medical stuff. Uh, right, so I can't repair that yet. If I get some cloth, um, then I can. But for right now, I can't because I put the rest of the cloth away. Uh, okay, let's go this side. Let's go this side first, and we will start... Where do we want to start? Down down here? Yeah, we'll start down here. From this toilet. Yeah, this, this, this is where we come in anyway. So, yeah, we'll start from here. We'll do... There's like a desk here, isn't it? Yeah, we'll do this desk first. See what we have here. Okay, I can't do anything with that yet. And oh, there's a, there's something there that I never looted. Okay. So yeah, let's come in here then. So we got these guys. And in the sinks, what do we have? Anything good? Nope, absolutely nothing. Nothing there. And nothing there. So that had absolutely nothing. That is like the, be the best kind of loot, guys. When you get absolutely nothing, that is that is when it's the best. So what do we have here? So we have uh, old outdoor lights, which scrap into iron. So yeah, I'll take the iron. Right, I'll take that. Because um, we can then use that in forges and melt it into more usable things. So anything else? Okay, here we go. We have copper and paper. Not bad. Okay, bookshelves. Here we go. So you can scrap the pair of those for note fragments. Now, I can, as, as you guys know, I could sell schematics, but... I mean, I got so much, I get so much money from selling schematics anyway, and I kind of want to go, I kind of don't want to rely on the trader for everything, like, I kind of want to move to the trader more so, like, if he is necessary to, rather than be like, oh, let's just, uh, let's just go loot a uh, cracker book, and then get everything we need, and then go to the traders kind of thing, because I don't think that makes, like, the most entertaining stuff for you guys to watch, and I don't want that, you know, I, wa I want you guys to be seeing, like, different things, so the fact that we're looting this place is more for medical supplies rather than for uh, trading. Okay, oh, I didn't need, I didn't want to do that. Never mind. What's in here? One casino coin. Wow, I'm rich, guys. I'm rich. See? Right, actually, can I now do a... Right, so I can use this now, right? Hang on a minute. Okay, that iron is just taking, like, 
absolutely ages. Yeah, that's 100, 195 iron, that's why it'll take that long. Okay, in here, nothing. In here, jars, there we go. So yeah, more jars are good as well. Okay, nothing there. And in here, there is coal. And in this one, there is... Okay, so we can scrap that one. Take the paint. Not that we'll really be using the paint. I can scrap that. I can probably scrap... Yeah, I can probably scrap the paintbrush as well. And then we can repair this. Okay, scrap that first, then repair this. Okay. I think it actually takes a while to scrap. It's quite surprising. Okay, repair that. Scrap that. And then we can make a first aid bandage with that. And use the aloe cream that we managed to get. Or in boss's case, it's the allow cream. But we, you know what I mean. We can use that. Uh, is that everything in here? Yeah, that's that room done. Alright. So here we have a very good quality jumper, actually. It's like a 530. That's not bad. Okay, then we've got copper arrowheads. We have... Oh, there you go. Great alcohol and coal. Very nice. That's a good find. Uh, that's just a little couch. In here we have cardboard boxes, feathers in there. Not bad. Right, so we can get that one out of the way. Okay, let's have a look up here. We have... Okay, actually we have lead here as well, don't we? Get those, and nothing there. Then nothing in that one. And nothing in that one. Hmm, okay, we can get rid of that now. Okay, a lot of, lot of this stuff is just becoming scrap, but that's actually good because... That just increase our, our base amount of resources to craft with, so I don't mind that. So, cover box has nothing in. This one? More nothing? Just hoping like a rad white doesn't run out of me any, at any point, but I think we did kill them, so hopefully that's uh, a good thing. I can't believe, like, last episode, though, that we had a rad just running through this random area. Like, I, di I didn't expect that. I was just like, oh, man. Okay, here we go. Tempting extract. Nice. We have... Okay, so they did destroy some of the pool cases. A vitamin. I'll eat that straight away. Another first aid bandage, very good. Nothing really much there. An old sink with a uh, with a jar in it. There you go, nine more rounds. Very glad we take those. And we have oh, a tomato seed. Nice, we haven't got that yet. So we can now plant. We can now plant tomatoes, guys. Yeah, tomato seeds are rare, so we want to keep those. That is awesome. Though. We can now we can now make a tomato farm. Hooray! So I'm keeping that. Definitely keeping that. So I loot this room already. All right, so that's that half done. Um, so let's go and have a look in here. So there's a crate up there. Which has two pain pills in it. And we have gunpowder. Nothing in there. And nothing in there. Right. So this room, there's a couple in here. We have pain pills again. And we have brass, candlestick, and a can. Oh, we got here. Nothing in that one. And this guy? What do you have for me? Oh, this is a uh, oh an oil refining uh, oil refining for fennec foxes, eh? Learn how to craft a small oil refinery system to produce your very own oil and plastics by reading this book. To read this book, you require science quality seven. Okay, that's a way off, but we we've got it. We can take that. Wow. Okay, so we found a uh, we found the oil refinery schematic. That is pretty awesome. Uh, anything else? No, nope, nothing else here. Right, let's go through this way. So there's another another toilet over here. Let's go and loot these. And let's take these guys down as well. And, okay, that was just short iron pipes, so I want to get rid of those. Okay, I can probably now do... I can probably do this now and get rid of those. And this. Okay, actually, let's do it. Let's do the other one. There you go. Nothing there. Nothing there. And nothing there. Yay! Three lots of nothing. That is the best kind of nothing, right? Let's make sure there's no one in this bit. Yeah, there's, there's one. Okay, good. So, let's have a look in here. So, we have old sinks and stuff, which is good. We have pain pills and stuff. Okay, there's a bandage. We can just apply it. More grain alcohol. Loads of grain alcohol in here. That is really good. So, doing pretty well on that. Cold and low equipment box. We have turpentine extracts in the desk. Very nice. Take that. And what do we have here? Lab equipment with nothing. A can. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's gonna take like that's gonna take like a minute to scrap, so that's fine. Anything here? Great alcohol, very good. Uh, this one. Aha! Uh Blood drill kit, which is an infected one, so we don't want to we want to sterilize it first. So to do that, what we can do is we can go uh, recipes. We can just go a uh, blood drill kit sterile, and we can craft that. And there we go, we get a sterile one. So if we want blood bags and stuff, we can now uh, we can now do that. Which is awesome, there we go. Uh, we can also make blood transfusion kits as well if we want to put blood back into ourselves. Just takes a blood drill kit and then a blood bag and then you can you can put it back in. So that's a pretty good thing. Okay, um, Okay. nothing really much in there anyway. Paint, may as well grab it. We have a wrench. I can't even... I can't even scrap it yet. Vitamins! There we go, we can take those. Huzzah! 
Okay, how long is left on this? Uh, how long is left on this scrapping thing anyway? Okay, there's not. Yeah, we got 93 brass coming out of that, so it's quite a quite a while yet. Okay, let's just have a look in here. There you go. Uh, right, grab that one. Okay, what's this one? This is a corrosive arrow and bolt schematic. Nice. Learn how to craft corrosive arrows and bolts by reading the schematic. There we go. Let's just read that one. Nice. So that's a new book we learned as well. So we're, fi we're finding like new recipes and everything. This is good. Right now I can start scrapping. Excellent. I can use this guy. Uh, this is now a sterile blood draw kit as well, which is great. Uh, is there anything else I can do here? Let's see. Uh, I could just eat that, I, su I suppose. Like, mm, no, I don't. I don't want to eat it if I don't have to. Uh, right, scrap you. Right, let's make sure I didn't leave anything behind. There's a wrench in here, wasn't there? Yeah, there you go. So get rid of the wrench. And... Oh, there's that box right out there that we missed. There you go. Level of equipment. We got some nitrate powder. Right, there we go. And let's have a look in here. We have first aid kit schematic and a first aid bandage. And this one had great alcohol. Very nice. Okay, so we can scrap that and take those. This chem station is destroyed as well. Two destroyed chem stations, guys. That's kind of sucky. Um, and we can scrap that, repair... Hang on. What's taking so long? Okay, that's taking, like, a lot of time, so... Let's go in the safe and have a look in here. And in here we have a full combo. I'll, I'll take a full combo, because um, that's definitely better. And... Let me see, so that's going to have three seconds left on you. Okay, what was... I was going to scrap something, wasn't I? Hang on. Was it the desk here? Yeah, this one. Repair that and scrap it. Sounds good. Right, is there everything in here? I think that's all of it. Uh, yeah, I think it was. So I was going to say, like, 15 seconds. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's all of it. Yeah, that's everything here. Right, so we've done this side. We did do these bits here. Okay. So now what you can do is come through this way. There's a hidden stash box just up there. Very sneakily placed one. And here, what do we get? Oh, yes! A full AK and everything! Oh, man, we can't even carry it all. Okay, um, tell you what. Drop the wood. We'll scrap that, and then I can carry those. Oh, man, that was good. That was a good find. That was a very good find, guys. A full AK. And it's a really good quality one as well. Nice. That is, uh, that is a good little hidden stash right there. Okay. We're going to have to go and drop some stuff, and then come back, because I am completely out of room. Um, so, let me go ahead and do that. And, you know what, let me go ahead and drop my stuff, sort it out, and I will be right back, and we can continue the next bit. Alrighty guys, we are back, so now that we are completely emptied out, we can go ahead and take all the rest of the loots and stuff on this floor. So let's get back to where we were, which I think was, uh, no, it's the previous room, wasn't it? We were, we were here. Here we go, let's go and make sure we've got everything, and now that we've got ahead and cleared our inventory out, we should be all good. There you go. And oh, look, we actually got two vitamins right away. That is awesome. So let's go ahead and just take the pair of those. Um, so I haven't found antibiotics because I kind of really want to cure this infection if we can. But yeah, still not had that much luck with those. So hopefully they are. Hopefully they're around somewhere. I mean, I, I kind of need them. Okay. So blood bags. We have more pain pills. So we're finding like. We're not really finding like amazing meds. We're finding more like basic stuff that we can use to craft our own meds. That's what you'll find a lot in Fanning Mod as well. You'll you'll find like stuff that you can use to craft later things, but then you're just like, oh, I can't craft those later things yet because I have no, you know, it's like I have no skills to be able to craft them kind of thing. So yeah, Fanning Mod is a bit of a catch twenty two. You know, the guy, the guy, the, this this guy who designed Fanning Mod. I mean, silly bugger, you know. Right. Let's see what we've got here. So we got those jars. There's a bag up there which has one of those, a flashlight, which I don't really want. And I think that's pretty much all of the stuff there. Okay, there's a couple down here. Pain pills, grain alcohol, I can use the bandage just to get my medical skills up. Lead, may as well grab it. And then there's some over here as well. So that I think this is the last room on this floor as well. So a vitamin, nice. And then we got, okay, we're getting a load of first aid bandages. So that's a really good thing. So I'll take that one. Then we can see... What is this one? This is a wrench, which I don't want, so that can be scrapped. And our wellness has gone up. Nice. This had nothing in. And... Okay, hang on. That's, that's searchable. What's in there? Oh, jar of water. Yeah, I don't want that. Jar of murky water. A regular jar of water, sure, but murky water? Nah. Okay, in here we have nothing. Okay, so let's jump over here. And we've done all these boxes around the top, I think, so... Yeah, so it looks like we're all good. Right, get rid of that one. Get rid of that one, then we can walk under here, and there's another... Uh, oh yeah, I, I forget you have to... Okay, I don't know what we can do. Let's just do this. And we can jump on... I think then we can jump up on that. Oh, it's not quite not quite enough. Hang on, I got an idea. Let's do this. Let's get this chair. We put the chair, like, there. And we use that to get some leverage onto there. There we go. 
nice. Save me doing the whole thing. Right? Cool. Okay, so let's go and see what what did I put in my hot bike that I need back. First aid kits. There we go. And then we should be able to open this guy. Oh, just just by opening it, it gets destroyed anyway. So it's just like, okay. Well, that works for me. All right. So there's a hidden stash in there. And what do we have in here? Uh, oh, military gloves. Nice. Oh, and a good steel shovel. Look at that. That one is. Um, that does 119, uh, no, that does 58 entity damage, and my iron one, how much does that do? That's 46, yeah, this steel shovel's better, so we now have a new, we now have a new attacking weapon, there you go, I'll keep my iron one anyway, uh, and then we can wear this, that is 26, whereas, no, that one's still 31, so we'll get rid of that, and hunting rifle barrel, nice, okay, that was a good little hidden stash, excellent, and I think that is the last, that is the last of this floor, okay, there you go, that floor is done, hidden stashes have been sorted out, let's go into the next one. Right, I was kind of hoping to find more science books in here, but seems that I'm not having much luck with those at the moment. Um, okay, so we'll scrap these. Let's see what I can find. No fragments, very good. Uh, okay, I can't do that one. Okay, hang on. I've taken both of them in here. Nothing and nothing in that one as well. All right, so I did open it out that way for us to just be able to get through, but we're going to go the entire way around anyway, because we still need to do like everything. Ooh, a painting wood one, we know it. But I got some oil as well, that's good. Like loads of oil, which is really, really handy. And we have nothing in here, and... Oh, hello. Got the arrowheads and a fertilizer in there. Right, so these guys, uh, these things here also have, like, hidden bits in the back and the sides and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do these guys. Just in here. Because I know, I know I always miss these things, and you guys are like, Dude, you miss all these things all the time. So yeah, I'll try and uh, I'll try my best to make sure I get all these. Uh, so there's this one. Which has just a bag in there, and that just has a note fragment. Very nice. Yeah, still looking for, still looking for science books. Has some trash. Take both of those, and last but not least, there is one over here. And what do we have here? Ah, here we go. So let's go ahead and assemble that. Get the rounds out and scrap it. There you go. Assemble, retrieve rounds and scrap. That's how. That's how it works. That's that's how I do it. Right, this one has nothing, and this one has a tool and die set one, which I can scrap. 20 jars as well, that's not bad. So we're definitely getting a load of glass jars from this place, which is handy. Considering we can't make our own yet either still, I don't think we can yet. So that's always good. And, okay, I can probably start doing these guys now, can't I? There you go, we can repair those, and then we'll scrap them once they are, once they're all used up. So this one is... Oh, treasure map. Nice, I'll take that. So good to have a treasure map around. And uh, lower curtain box has absolutely nothing. That does not surprise me. Lower curtain boxes are usually like that. I need to have a look at that as well, because, like, I wanted, like, more scientific stuff to spawn in these things, but then not... it seems the spawn rate hasn't... I've not even seen any... I don't even see any, like, plastics or anything like that in, like, trash, and they should be a bit more common, so I'll have to adjust the loot tables a little bit just to make sure. Okay, so we can bottle the murky water, not worry about that. Uh, right, now I can scrap all these. They can become cloth again. And, oh, hang on, did I go in here? Here we go. This guy had another combo bow. I'll take that. If anything, we can sell it. And another one right there. Nice, what do we have here? Oh, yes! Silver, gold, diamonds, and raw phadium. Alright, uh, uh, okay, now, now it's decision time. Right, we're going to have to get out of here. We're going to have to... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to uh, get out of here. So I'll tell you what we'll do is we'll just smack our way through here. There we go. And we'll just smash our way through here. There you go. And skill in uh, mine tools now level 83. Very nice. So yeah, we'll just break through here. So I don't really want to keep the glass anyway. And then we can come back through there when we need to. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop down. Put our stuff away. And then we can come back. Yeah, let me go and put the stuff away again, guys. And then I'll be right back once again. Alrighty, we are back on the... Which floor is this now? This is like the fifth floor. Some of that. We're, we're back. We're back on the floor anyway. We're, we're back. So, uh, let's go ahead and continue doing uh, from where we left off. So, we did do this lot. Okay, everything's done here. And I think we just had to get the... Did we get everything out of the boxes? Just want to double check just to make sure I didn't leave anything. Oh, yeah, we, we left the Fadium. Okay, so we now have the Fadium. And we can go ahead and continue. So... We need to go this way, I think. Yeah, here we go. So there's some more boxes over here, and we should be able to loot into here and see what else we get. So 
Okay, there's nothing over here. All right, let's have a look in these boxes. See if there's anything good in these. Hopefully, we're going to find some good stuff. Let's have a look. So we got some brass and some copper in that one. This one had more fertilizer. Very good. Uh, oh, look at this. We had a air-cooled condenser. The air-cooled condenser is used in a small refinery in order to help shape and mold plastics into other usable products. Nice. We're going to take that one, um, and we want to keep hold of that because that's a really that's actually a really hard thing to find. So we definitely want to keep hold of that. Okay. So yeah, air-cooled condenser. We got to keep hold of. Okay, over here. We have ourselves nothing in the lab equipment box, but yeah, that was a, that was a good little find. So yeah, I'm I'm glad that at least the uh, at least the stuff is generating. So that does mean it is generating a loot, and that seems like if you find like one maybe one per every two Higashi buildings you loot, then that's that's a good thing. So they're the boots you can just scrap. I don't need to do anything for those, and then let's come out this way. So then we need to go. Okay, we've got to go to the right, and then there's this little round a little bit over the top, and then there's this. this I always find this bit in the building really really weird. This is like. Aah. It's like, you're just like twisting around and around and around. Okay, so there's another one here. And we have a person there, nice. And that had nothing in, not so nice, but never mind. Right, so this one, I think we can go this side, here we go. And there's a bag, which has nothing in there. A, mo a moldy backpack, not just a bag, it's a, it's a moldy one. They they, they, had to they had to include the fact that it was moldy, guys. That's It's, it's what they do. Uh, so we have brass, and then we have lead. In here we have absolutely nothing. And these guys, oh there we go, so an armor schematic and some gunpowder. Uh, wrong tool for the job, that one, there we go. Ah, uh, snack on you. This one we have nothing, this one we have more nothing, and this one we have even more nothing. But there is munitions box here, this is the good one, what have we got in here? We have, oh yes, look at that, we got loads of magnum rounds, we got some, pretty much loads of regular grade rounds, plus some pipe bombs, excellent, and we can go ahead and do that and we should be able to get some forged iron steel uh, from this thing as well. Okay, we didn't get any forged steel, but we did get forged iron, so that'll do. Not really looking for steel too much at the moment anyway. We'll be able to make our own soon with the alloy forging and everything. Um, and that is everything in this area. So that's the main area of this floor cleared and it's just like the edge. So let's go uh, take that one and what we got here. Nails and a trophy. And let's see, paint. I guess we'll take that. Some copper. Some copper and some lead again. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy to start scrapping the lead fishing weights as we go. Just because it's it's gonna be fine. Um, right, so let's go down here. So it's 3:01, so it's nearly time. It's nearly morning already, but we've we actually looted quite a lot through this building anyway, so that's always good. Uh, hang on a minute, I want to get rid of you. There you go. This one, paper. This one, nothing. And this one, more nothing. Aha! Paint and uh, get rid of the paintbrush. We can we can make our own paintbrush anyway, which will probably be. I think it'll probably be a be better quality one anyway. So there's these two. Which has a hidden stash one in there. Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, it has. Oh, okay, that still shows up. Oh my god! Yes! A factory grade fire axe! Yay! We actually got one! That is amazing, which compared to my other one. Oh yeah, that, that, that's all around better. Yes, we got a factory grade fire axe, guys. That's gonna be. I mean, that does. That, how much that does? That 113 and that does 108. So it's not that much better than the iron one, but still, it's something. So we're gonna scrap this iron one now. Because we got the factory grade one. That is awesome. So that's two factory grade tools that we now have. That is amazing. So we can get rid of. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Was that factory grade as well? No, wait, stop. Stop. Was that. No. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Where'd it, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Was that factory grade as well? I swear I just saw a factory grade shovel. Um, no, 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 here. It is. It's a factory grade shovel as well. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's amazing. That is amazing. We got two factory grade tools. Now this factory grade shovel doesn't do as well, um, but we're going to actually keep that. So now we got factory grade tools, um, factory grade stuff. Um, we can. No wait. No, this is factory grade. Two. Oh my god, that is actually factory grade. As well. I did not even realize, guys, that that was factory grade as well. Okay, so we have two factory grade tools. So we may as well. I may as well keep the. I may as well keep the both. And then we can now scrap the iron one. Oh yes, that is amazing. We now have. All of the factory grade tools, guys. Every every tool we have now, every one of our main tools now factory grade. I mean, we can find more. I mean, I didn't even realize that was a factory grade shovel. You guys, you guys um, in the comments are probably be, are probably gonna be telling me, dude, that's a factory grade shovel. You didn't even realize it. But that is amazing. It it just looks like a steel one. I need to I need to sort the icon out on that because that that did definitely look like a steel one, and I would have I would have probably scrapped it as well. Uh, right. So, what do we have in here? Uh, nothing there. Uh, nothing there. Right, let's go into this. Uh, there's a little room over here which has like another hidden stash box in it as well. And in here we got 140 note fragments. Nice. And a military helmet. There we go. Take that guy. And bookcases we have a tool forging and generator bank which we both know anyway. This one we have, okay, cartons. Okay, we have water. I can't scrap the cartons just yet, but there we go. 
Oh, hang on. Did I do that? Yeah, I did. That has been looted. Excellent. Oh, man, that is, that is great. So we, we've got all the factory grade tools now, guys. That is amazing. Like, honestly, that is amazing. Each one of our tools is now factory grade. It's not, like, the, the, the good ones to pick up. The other two aren't so good, but still. they la I think they'll still last longer than the iron tools. And they take they take steel to repair. So, you know, we can't currently make steel, but we can still find steel. So it's it's absolutely fine. We're going here. We have... Okay, so we've got the cross fires one, which I know, so we can scrap that. And then we have a sink with a wrench. Again, scrap it. It's not the aggressive. It's not a really great wrench. Now I've done the uh, now I've done that quest. It's not like an amazing one. Uh, oh, here we go. So we got a finally a science book. There we go. Another gunsmithing book. So science is now level 24. Very good. And I think that might increase it to 26. Yeah. I think it, I think it will increase it by by three levels. There you go. So science is now level 26. And then gunsmithing we can do as well. And this is uh, advanced glass working. Here we go. So, if you need glass that doesn't shatter when a cop farts on it, time to read this. Uh, time to read this book. To read this, you need uh, tools in quality four and science seven. Yeah. So a lot of this is like a lot of stuff relies on science actually. Uh, so iron forging. Yep, we got that one as well, so we can scrap it because we can make our own iron tools. And in here, what do we have? We have shotgun shells, which I'll take. Uh, those, which I'll take, and then the rest we can just we can just scrap the rest. There you go. We'll keep the rest of those and we'll scrap them. Uh, so that's got three seconds to go on that one. Then we can just add these to the queue as we go. All right, and it's morning! Hooray! Right, doing okay so far. Let's go up here. I'll open these boxes and see what we got in, in just these initial ones. Probably not anything great. What's this one? That's a homemade iron shovel, which is actually quite decent. Oh, there we go. Ten plastic sheets, guys. I can take those. So we're gonna need we're gonna need plastic sheets. Um, okay, so they are spawning. It's just they're just quite rare. Okay, that's good. So as long as long as they are actually spawning, then that's a good thing. So let's go get those guys, and then we can use this bandage, this bandage. We can scrap those guys. Excellent. And then another science book. Nice. Let's read that. Excellent. And I can make a first aid bandage with this. Nice. So science skill is going up a little bit because I'm finding a few. Uh, oh, don't we have cloth? Oh, we don't have enough cloth. That's what it is. So we do. We have cloth, just not enough of it. That's fine. I'm sure we'll find some more as we go, like in here. There you go. Now I can make it. So craft that up. Okay, let's go in here. So we have another toilet area. Our wrench is actually better than mine. That wrench is actually better than mine, so I'll take that one. There we go, done. So I'll get rid of my other one and take this. And this guy is cannon, cannon in the jar in here. Nothing, nothing in there. And this one, even more nothing. Nothing is good, guys. Trust me, no nothing is like the best kind of loot you can get in the game. Like, whenever you go out looting, always strive to get nothing, because it really, it, it's really good. It's, it, it feels exhilarating when you get absolutely nothing for your, for your looting travel. It's, it's always good. It's always good. Right, let's have a look in here. Uh, this one we have uh, soy milk. I'll just drink it. Pain pill. And another pain pill. Okay, two pain pills. Plastics. We have not too much there. Alright, hold on a second. How are we doing here? So, do I need to scrap anything here? Uh, can these scrap into plastics as well? Yeah, you can scrap these into scrap plastics if you want. So plastic sheets can be used to craft other plastic-based items, which is crafted in a small refinery using a vacuum chamber with crude oil or an air cooled condenser using scrap plastics. Um, so these guys, if we go recipes, these are actually required to craft the... Uh, this is actually one of the things you need to craft the juicer, and you need to, to craft the uh, the small oil refinery itself as well. So we actually need 30, so it's quite expensive to craft it. But once we get those uh, plastics up, we should be able to go ahead and do that. But yeah, it's a, it's it's a bit more expensive than you would think. So yeah, if you if you come across these plastics, keep them because you'll need them. If you want to craft the refinery, you'll need to keep them. Um, so yeah, don't get rid of those. Um, right. So is there anything else I don't really want to have on me? I'm not sure. Let's go and have a look up in the safe. I think we're going to have to once again go down and drop some stuff, but that's okay. If we need to do that, we need to do it. Uh, there's a safe somewhere here. Here it is. There it is. And we have note fragments. Nice. Those those will stack with mine. And then we have this and money which i cannot carry okay so i think once again guys we're gonna have to go and drop off some stuff because like we are we're getting so full of stuff like it is actually quite ridiculous how full of stuff we're getting um right anything here let's have a look in here so there's a fridge bottom with a jar a fridge top with two jars and a cardboard box with absolutely nothing all right okay so here's the stairwell so we can just open that out and I think, yeah, we'll go ahead and drop our stuff back down again. Uh, I won't cut this time because, like, we're nearly at the top anyway. So I may, as well, I may as well just not cut this time. So we're nearly there. 
And I've already done a couple of cuts in the episode anyway. So, oh, no, we need to go down one more. All right, one more. And one more. There we go. So let's go over this way. And plus, I can then kind of give you a quick overview of all the stuff we've actually got together. Um, and as you can see, there is quite a lot in here. All right, so we've got three fertilizer, four shine. Actually, I'll tell you what, I can actually use those to repair the mining helmets. Um, so that's a good idea. So I'll keep those on me a second. Uh, paint can sit in there. Lead can go in there. Glue will. Plastic sheets. These guys, I hear someone outside. Is it a putrid girl? Yes, I really think it's a putrid girl. Putrid girl. Or maybe it's just the cheerleader. Putrid girl. Right, let's put you in there. And let's see, we have this one. Oh. Okay, so someone's angry. Someone's angry. Right. Whoa! It's a feral nurse. Oh! Oh god! Feral nurse. Wait, you're not a putrid girl. You lied. Feral nurse. Gotcha. Right, anything in there? No, nothing in that trolley. Okay, so yeah, she she was uh she just ran in for me, didn't she? She was like she was like, I'm gonna kill you and I was like, what did I ever do to you? So these guys can go in there, shotgun shells can stack, gunpowder, um yeah, this military helmet then yeah, so we can repair all these now, right? So now you got the forged iron, I should be able to go ahead and repair those. Because apparently this gets the science up like quite a bit. Um, let's see. Yeah it does actually, so science is now level thirty one. There we go, so repair mining helmets gets up your science. There we go. So yeah, good tips, guys, for the, for the uh, for getting up on the science stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, guys, for letting me know. I mean, I know I made this mod, but it doesn't mean I know like everything about it, you know. So because you know, like leveling up science and stuff, it's kind of like I kind of like roughly approximate where I think it should be at, and then people are just like, "Oh, this is really quick," and then I'm just like, "Oh yeah." So let's actually repair this helmet. There you go, get that. I'll get my armor crafting up. There you go. So yeah, like repairing stuff is like a lot more a lot more worth your time now, which is really good. Uh, can we eat any food in here? Uh, let me see. Oh, hang on. Let me grab this aloe cream here. And we will grab the cloth. And I can make another... I can make another first aid bandage, right? First aid bandage. This one. There you go. May as well grab those. Just save a little bit of room. And then water can go in there. Uh, do I have anything else in the bike that I don't really need? Hang on. This stone. How am I doing on health? Oh, I need, I need to take a pain for that anyway. So let's take one of those. And let's have a look in Gloria. Wherefore art thou, Gloria? Oh, there's Gloria. Uh, right, so we do have some stuff in here that we could eat, potentially. Yeah, here we go. Let's eat this blueberry pie. Eat that to help us out. Plus, we'll drink some of the uh, the soy milk stuff as well. There you go. That should help me with getting hydrated. There you go. 100% hydration. Very good. And then we can probably eat the... Probably eat this yogurt right here as well. Yeah, let's eat that. There we go, that'll get my food up a little bit, and then we have some more cartons of scrap. There we go, looks good. And anything else I want to really eat from here? Could eat the cans of chilli, but that'll start getting my hydration down. Let's, uh, let's do the can of pears, there we go. Just eat a couple of those, and that'll get me all sorted. Yes, yeah, infection though, we didn't find any antibiotics yet for this infection, which is bad. I mean, I have some at home, so it's not the end of the world, uh, whatever happens, but still, it's a little bit worrying. Uh, yeah, hang on. Where's my infection stage at right now? It's probably it's probably infection two by now, isn't it? I would have thought it was infection one. Uh, is in oh god, it's infection three. Oh, that went out really quick, didn't it? Um, your infection is progressing. Use antibiotics to heal the infection. Okay, yeah, that actually went um, that actually went really really quickly. So yeah, infection three is uh, it does progress. It might be as well because I got it, I got infected from the hazmat guy, so I was already infection. I think I was infection two already. So yeah, we need to uh, we need to get that sorted out. Otherwise, I will just I will just die. And I don't want to just die, because we've, we've not died yet, so that would be a very sucky thing to happen if we just killed over and died. Because I don't, I don't want that, and I'm sure you guys don't want that either. Well, actually, actually, I don't know, maybe you do, because like, you guys like seeing me die, and you're just like, yes, whenever, whenever I die. So maybe, actually, maybe you sadistic lot really do want me to die, so you're probably just like, um, you're probably just like, hmm, let's just not tell him he's infected. Now, I'm, I'm fully aware I'm infected, we just have to find the antibiotics to cure it. But yeah, honey will no longer cure it. But antibiotics will, so we've got to go and find those. Right, so we got this one, and we got to go up again. And then once we're up the top, we have this one. There we go. Right, so let's get the fire axe. There we go. This has cans. Okay, so now I can start looting the rest of these boxes and see what we get. Two anvils. It's not bad. That's really not bad, actually. Um, right, so I'll keep I'll keep both the anvils. What have we got here? Aha! Tempting extract. Oil. Okay, not bad. Uh, any other pill cases around here? Set of drawers there. Shan sandwich I'm not too worried about taking myself. Uh, anything up here? I think we've got everything. Oh no, wait, I missed the box there. 
Come here, you. We have an oven with a cooking grill. See, now we're finding all the cooking grills. Like, at the start of the game, I just couldn't find one single cooking grill. But now, now that we're, now that we're like, you know, further into the game, we don't really need one now. We're just finding them everywhere. It's always the way with random gen. It always is. Right. She's that. And we have cloth. And we have another one of those. Excellent. And a jar. Right, nothing there. Right, let's scrap this one. That one. And scrap the bullet casings. There you go. Yeah, I, I may as well scrap the bullet casings just so it's it's more compact and we can take it with us. Okay, first aid bandage. That's splint. Let's use it. A jar. And we have a first aid kit schematic. Very good. Nothing much there either. Okay, I think that's everything. There's one box here which has absolutely nothing in it. Never mind. Okay, so... It looks like they did actually break out of this. Yeah, they did. They actually broke out of here. Okay, quest note, which is... I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I think I've got that one already. Yep, we do, so we'll just scrap it. Alright, let's have a look through all these. Tool and dice set again. Get rid of that. This one has... Lead and brass, so good for bullets. This one has iron. Nothing in there. So many drawers! So iron in there. Rotten flesh in there. Actually, I don't want that. I don't want your stick of rotten flesh. Yeah, you can keep that. Yeah, you can keep that. That's fine. Okay, so anything else around here? There's a drawer. Is there any drawers over this side? I think there's like one or two over here. There you go. Some coffer. Very good. Yeah, there's lots of stuff in there. So coffer in that drawer. And this one. Not much in there. Right, so now I can go up to the next level. Let's go and get rid of this, though. So I think um, getting rid of those should allow me to drop down into there. Although I can't really get... Actually, is there anything in there? There's nothing even in there. I mean, I can't even get out, though, so... Thinking about it, there's no point. Okay. Uh, so where do we want to go for this side? Okay, let's start Let's start on the right-hand side, and then we'll make our way to the left. So washing machines, we have cloth. Not bad, right, so we did get the fake floors in here already, so that's good, so we know where they are. Uh, repair that, and scrap the cowboy boots. And this one we can repair and scrap those, and then scrap that one. This has a fridge with nothing in it. Uh, there's a bone in there, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, what do we have here? A crappy wrench and some oil. Okay. So, not too worried about those. What do we have here? So, has some shorts. And here we have not much shades. And here we have not much either. Okay. Not much I can do anyway. Uh, okay, take those. Alright, let's move on. So, that's that room done. Uh, the drawers are done. I think I did both these. Uh, oh, I didn't, actually. Okay, I did not do that drawer. But there are the other ones I did. Okay, so we got over here. So like fridges and everything kind of thing, so let's have a quick look. Cloth, very good. And more cloth. Yay, there we go. Looking good. Pain pills. Uh, ah, I can't... Okay, so I still got scrap. What is taking so long? It's probably the it's probably the wrench, isn't it? Yep. That one. That one. Okay, let's scrap those. Scrap those. Uh, scrap these. There we go. So those guys can be all taken away. And what do we have here? Is that it? I think that's all of it. So lead fishing makes things I know they're using the fishing rods and stuff, but like all the fishing nets, but I'm not really too worried about that right now anyway. Okay, we have animal fat and we have 17 more jars. Nice. We we've gonna have we're gonna have quite the collection of jars, guys, honestly. Okay, so we got a bag right here with the can. Gotta watch out, there's like a fake floor right there, so gotta watch out for that one. Okay, here we go. Now we're in this one. Oh, gunpowder, I'll take that actually. Uh iron arrowheads again, nice. And we have a fridge and a freezer here, and nothing in either of them. There's a short metal pipe in the sink, and in this one we have a can. Is there any boxes? Here we go. That's not got anything I want in it. This one has lead. Get rid of that. And this one has absolutely nothing. Yeah, there we go. So jars. All right, so we're nearly at the top, guys. We are nearly there. I'm determined. I may as it might be a bit of a longer episode, but I'm I'm determined to finish it now. So we may as well just do it. We may as well just do it. Do it now. Finish the Agashi! There we go, so we can get rid of those, then we can scrap all of these. There we go, so all those can be scrapped. And then we have this, and... Oh, hang on. I can do that one now, and then there's a box up there, which just has a couch in it. No, I don't want these, I don't want these stinking couches, give me something good. Right, get rid of those, get rid of those. Okay, this room is, I think, clear. Apart from these filing cabinets. So scrap both of those, and nothing in there. Right, so there's a box up here. Nope. 
Then books at the top. Okay, ooh, milk. Yay! And let's see, right. So, get rid of those. Right, let's have a look up here. Nothing up there. There's a box here, though, which has just a leather couch in it. And that one has nothing good in it. Just some plastics and things. So we got no fragments and some cash. Very good, so you can see no coins. And uh, duct tape, I'll take that. Some copper. Uh, corn seeds, I think I'll leave because I've got I got a corn farm anyway, so I don't need them. Pill casing, there we go. And right, hang on a sec. Let's go and do this, and then I can make another first aid bandage. There we go. Yeah, may as well as as we do it, we may as well make all the first aid bandages we can. Because like making first aid bandages also gets up your um, science skills as well, so we may as well do it. Uh, oh hello, we have a toolsmithing book. Let's read that one. Nice, read. Toolsmithing is now level seventy-one. Nice. So that means it'll be I think level seventy-three by the time I'm done. Right, nothing in there. This one, we have just cans in that one. And we have, okay, scrap the copper. And scrap the hammer and the pot. We don't need either of those. There's jars, I'll keep them. Okay, so we're nearly done with this building, guys. We're nearly at the top. And if I ever want to loot, uh, loot another one of these, I will go ahead and just do it like off camera because that's you know it's probably it's probably better that way because then you've seen it once, but then you don't have to see it like twice. Um, oh wait, I missed in this room. There's a Xiaomi food box up here somewhere. There it is. And here we have honey. Nice. I'll take that. I need one of those for the bun in the oven quest. And what do we have here? Here we have milk, which I can't take, but I'll take that with me anyway. And then we have the sinks. With a decent wrench, but I've got better wrenches now, so I may as well just scrap these guys. Nitrate, I'll take it. Nothing there. More nothing there. And well, there's there's tons of water in there, but I kind of wanted I kind of wanted a pistol with anything, but no, no, it just had to be stingy, didn't it? Super thing. Right, let's get up here. Silly thing. Right, vitamins. Take those, and we can use the bandage on me. Get that medical skill rolling. There you go. Oh, another vitamin. Very nice. The skill of medicine is now level five. Yay! I'm gonna have to make. I'm gonna have to increase the amount of experience you get from using medical stuff because, like, it seems that you just don't get enough. Like, honestly, it seems you get way too little. So maybe, uh, maybe in Fenning one, I'll level up the amount of experience you need. Right. So we can go and do these ones. Get rid of all that stuff on that side. There you go. And then jump over there. There you go. Cool. Right, nothing in that drawer. In the desk, we have overalls. Okay, I'll take those. Nothing there. Right. And then we have coal. I'll take that one. Oh, don't destroy the munitions box yet. I want to loot it first. What do we have in here? We have. Oh, there we go. We've got pipe bombs, regular, and high grade 9 mil rounds. Nice. So, regular 762s, high grade 9 mils. Okay, I kind of want to get the. Okay, scrap that. Okay, this is where things get tricky. Fine. Uh, we will go ahead and drop the leather and the wood here. Because I want to get the iron and the steel out of that. There we go. So we did get some steel. Yeah, we did. That means I can repair my factory grade pickaxe. Factory grade tools you can literally just repair straight away as well. There you go. Because that means. Uh... Oh, toolsmithing actually went to level 74. Nice. Don't have to require materials. Okay, so toolsmithing is now at 74. We got four shine and steel. And I think that is the last area in this room. And then all I have to do for the end of it is go ahead and retrieve the Fadium and the Foxium back from the top, and then all our loot is pretty much amalgamated together, combined, and right now I don't really have much room to carry stuff. I mean, what I can do, hang on a sec, I know there's some other stuff up there we need to get as well, so what I'm going to do actually is we're going to drop down here, and we're going to go all the way to the bottom, I'm going to drop my stuff off, and then before we end off the episode I'm going to go ahead and clear out the very top floor with the Fadium and Foxium stuff that we had in that box because there was the, there was, there was like that one box that we didn't manage to take things from so I kind of just put it all in the box and left it there but we'll go back and get that in a minute okay so we've got forged iron we have these guys these guys there we go and then we have this lot and we have blood draw kits and bags there's honey milk and let's see any other stuff there nope but we do have oil that can get in there now we actually got quite the impressive amount of stuff yeah we, we actually got 26 oil from here which is not bad not bad for the amount of oil. that's that's a lot of molotovs we can make with that so these guys go in here feathers these pipe bombs and then we have casino coins this and then anvils can go 
in the tools one. There you go, because those are technically tools. All right, so before we end off the episode, guys, let's go ahead and just make our way... Man, I think, I think we really have gone over, but that's okay. We can go ahead and make our way up to the very top, and we can get the last of it. And then I'll show you all the loot at the end, and then you guys can see what we managed to pull from this place. Because uh, I think we actually got quite a lot of good stuff. Especially those plastic sheets. They're rare, they're rare, but they... I might turn up the probability a little bit, but they are... Because they're considering they're so rare. Like, like really rare. I thought they'd show up in Junkmore. But they did not. Okay, here we go. And right to the top floor. Uh, everyone is cleared from here, but there's another little room in here that we didn't do. Let's have a look in here. So we got... Rebuff frames, I'll take those, very good. And we have this one, which has more rebuff frames. Okay, loads of rebuff frames and a few tools in that room. And we can loot all the junk as we go. Uh, this one, we have feathers, copper, and in here we have more copper and lead, very good. This one, a jar, not bad. This one, we have nothing, all right, fine. Be that way then, you stingy piece of rubbish. Tee! Uh, this one, what do we have? We have, oh, a workbench book. Uh, we do know it though, so we may as well scrap it and get those skill notes. Uh, we have nothing there. This one, aha! Take that one and. Hmm, hold on a minute. Hmm, do I want to. I can scrap those, right? Hang on, what's going on? Ah, I'm just full. I'm just full. There we go. Now I can scrap them. I was thinking, I was thinking, hmm, the game is, the game is telling me I shouldn't scrap these or I can't. And I was like, hmm, do I I kind of like, like started questioning my morals. And I was like, do I really want to scrap these for the casings? Do I really? Okay, yeah, we are, we are completely out of room to scrap stuff. So, yeah. A couple of changes I want to do for this. Let's have a look over here. So this one, we have not much there. And then up the top, we can go straight over here. There's a bit more trash over here, then there's that last hidden stash box. Okay, so in here we have duct tape, that's a good find. Over here, is there any trash around here? Nope, none over here, it's just all over here. So we got nothing in there. Uh, this one, Wayne, let me leave. There we go. And then here we've got all the phadium stuff. Uh, this is the armor stuff, which I'm going to scrap. I'll take, I'll, I'll scrap that actually for the military fiver. And I'll take this guy, and then we'll assemble you. Wait, don't drop it, you fool. Give me that. Right, assemble this guy. And then just scrap it. There we go. And then we can scrap that. We can scrap that in a minute. There you go. I think that's everything. I think that's all of it. Just double check up here. Um, so we did this already. Okay, so we can then drop down here, then to here, then to here. And then we can make our way up. All right. So before we end off the episode, then let's go ahead and put the last loot away, and then we can see exactly what we managed to get throughout looting the entire entire place. Because all the loot, apart from like my shotgun shells and one of my wrenches, is pretty much just taken from here, right? So there's a couple of things that we found on the way to here, but yeah, most of it's been taken from here, which is really good. Um, so let's go ahead and get down here. One more. And there we go, we're done. Right, so let's go ahead and make our way over here. Uh, we'll put the last of the stuff away, and then I'll be able to show you exactly... Uh, well, you, you guys will see as we as we go, you'll see exactly how much uh, loot we managed to acquire just from this uh, just from this one building, so that was pretty good. So these guys can sit in there. Uh, this one, we have... Is there any food in Oh, jars can go in there. Uh, Reba frames can actually go into here. Okay, then we got rounds. We've got... Hang on, feathers can go in there as well. Then we got all this stuff right here. There we go, that looks good, and I think that's pretty much everything looted from this place. So, let's go ahead and see what we got in total. So, total, we got, uh, okay, so our big, our good our good wins on this is we got the 10 of the plastic sheets out of the 30 that we need to make the refinery, which is a very good start. I may make this a little bit more common because they seem they seem a little bit too rare, um, although once you get the refinery, you can make your own anyway. Uh, we did manage to get a couple of fertilizers, not many though, so you know nothing too great in there. In terms of uh, food-wise, we finally managed to get a tomato seed, so that means we can actually make a farm. 125 jars, we even got a leg cast, uh, which is sponsored by uh, Holy Balls Incorporated. And then in the third one, tools-wise, we didn't get too much. We got like we got one of the parts of the refinery. We got the air cool condenser. Um, we got a couple of factory grade tools as well, which is awesome. And then in the ammo and guns one, we got uh, 70 million rounds. Okay, we got a lot of 762s in here. We got a lot of them. And the same with the nine mils as well. We got loads. Plus, this is probably the best thing we got the full the full AK, which is like pretty much just 
yeah, that, that's pretty much just going to kill things. Let's get a couple of compound bows. Then lastly in here, we managed to get ourselves the, um, we managed to get the oil refinery book, which is really good. We got loads of note fragments in here. We actually, yeah, 381 note fragments in total. Then we got five fadium, five foxium, seven diamonds. You know, that's actually pretty good. Five fadium and five foxium for this one build. So yeah, we got very lucky with the uh, munitions box. And I think these actually sell for a bit. Like five fadium is like worth 20k. Uh, same with Foxium, and then Diamonds, like 7 Diamonds is only worth 9, 9k, and then same with 20 and Gold, that's only worth 12. So yeah, you can see that we are going to get like quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of money from the traders from selling him all of this good stuff, which is going to be absolutely awesome. Two treasure maps as well, and overall we've had a pretty good loot run. So I'm going to need to get all this home, guys. Like I need to you know, tr try and transport all of it home, um, sort it out, and uh, yeah, just try and... I, did, I don't know if I'll, I'll like sell it off or anything, I'll just try and sort it out for now. We can kind of just collect it all together. We, we, can, we can be hoarders, guys. We, you you know, you know, you know, I'm like, I'm, I can, I can just be a hoarder. But yeah, um, I think we're at a pretty good point now to go ahead and end off the episode. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now, guys. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, going to go ahead and end it here. I can never say that bit, right? Uh, we're going to go ahead and end it here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye.